Good morning, students. This is Murthy sir. In the last class, we discussed about eight different types of connective tissue. Today, we will learn an interesting topic: human blood groups, and also an important activity: how to find your blood group. Human blood groups are basically of four types: A group, B group, O group. and ab group students in these four types of blood groups again each group positive and negative are there austrian scientist karl landsteiner discovered human blood groups he discovered a b and o blood groups and for this remarkable contribution he was awarded nobel prize and later De Castello and Sterli these two scientists discovered AB blood group De Castello and Sterli they revealed the genetic inheritance of blood groups O blood group is called universal donor and AB blood group is called universal recipient O blood group people they can donate blood to all groups and AB blood group people they can receive from any blood group Students this particular table reveals the type of red blood cells the type of antibodies and the type of antigens in four types of blood groups group A group B group AB and group O all the four blood groups the types of red blood cells antibodies and antigens it is mentioned in this particular table see basically antigens and antibodies are proteins chemically they are proteins students group a has a antigen and b antibody blood group b has b antigen and a antibody blood group ab has both antigens a and b but this blood group will not possess both antibodies and group o it has both antibodies a and b but it will not possess both antigens a and b so this is the fundamental difference between the four types of blood groups in addition to normal antigens and antibodies in your blood another antigen called rh factor it is present in 90% of indian population if this particular rh factor is present in your blood group your blood group uh, will get positive sign if this rh factor is absent in your blood group then your blood group will get negative sign rh stands for rhesus it is an antigen it is called or h factor it is an antigen which is present in 90% of indian population students now we will move on to one interesting activity how to find your blood group i think most of you are aware of your blood groups nowadays when people approach specialists they are referring for blood test so most of the people are aware of their blood groups nowadays aim of the experiment is identification of blood group the materials required are blood identification kit glass slide wax pencil disposable needle cotton toothpicks 70% alcohol here you can see the picture of blood identification kit students let us see the components of blood identification kit anti a sera 5 ml anti b sera 5 ml we have to take anti or hd sera 5 ml we have to take porcelain white plates 2 wax pencil 1 needle 100 in number instruction manual 1 no when we do more number of tests more number of needles are required disposable needles we have to use
let us see the procedure step one take one porcelain plate clean and dry it the plate must be very clean so that it does not interfere with the reaction now step two with a wax pencil draw three circles on the plate to divide the surface into three parts and draw three circles one in each part as shown in figure 13 which you have seen already now step 3 place one drop of the corresponding anti serum near the edge but within each of the circles as shown in figure 14 this is figure 14 now let us move to step 4 choose a finger usually left ring finger clean the fingertip with alcohol in a cotton ball and let it dry keep the cotton ball nearby as it is needed again dangle the hand down to increase the amount of blood flow into the fingers now let us see step 5 press on the bottom of the fingertip with the thumb of the second hand and quickly prick the fingertip with the help of a needle to collect a small amount of blood from your finger now let us see step 6 quickly let one drop of blood get into each circle but not touching the anti -sera. do not touch any of the anti -sera. now step 7 is after putting three drops of blood apply gentle pressure to the wound with the cotton ball and you know you have to dispose of the needle that you have used it is disposable needle it should not be used by another individual students now let us move to step 8 use a toothpick to mix the blood and anti serum and stir gently do it for each of the circles using a fresh toothpick every time the wax pencil circle will help to keep the sample isolated students now let us move on to the last step ninth step watch to see if any of the samples show agglutination agglutination means clumping of blood cells this should not happen if this happens the blood transfusion cannot be done the agglutination will appear as the grainy clumps of red blood cells suspended in a clear solution RH is slower to agglutinate so do not give up too soon students now let us move on to the result and inference of the experiment determine the blood type depending on the result following table can be used to determine the blood type let us see the table to determine the blood group students in this particular picture anti a sera anti b sera and anti or hd sera are shown students this is result and inference and we can finally decide the blood group based on the information given in the table that is anti a sera anti b sera and the third column the type of blood group mentioned if it is yes for anti a sera and if it is no for anti b sera the type of blood group is a if it is no for anti a sera and if it is s for anti b sera the type of blood group is b if it is s for anti a sera and if it is s for anti b sera the type of blood group is ab and if it is no for anti a sera and if it is no for anti b sera then the type of blood group is o so in this way the type of blood group is determined finally 
independent of whether agglutination occurs in anti a sera and anti b sera clumping may or may not occur in anti or hd serum if agglutination occurs in anti or hd serum the rh factor is positive and if it does not the rh factor is negative students agglutination is clumping of blood cells it should not happen all the blood cells in blood are freely floating they freely move in plasma they are not attached to one another red blood cells white blood cells platelets all are freely moving in the plasma so clumping of red blood cells should not happen and you know this clumping leads to death students one thing you have to know this antigens and antibodies are chemically proteins on the surface of red blood cells antigens are present and antibodies are produced by lymphocytes to attack the germs and to kill them this agglutination clumping of blood cells happens when antigen and antibody reactions occur this results because of unmatched blood group if the blood group doesn't match then it leads to agglutination